don't think I really expected to hear from anybody. I wasn't uh, I suppose for years I didn't want to hear from anybody. But I don't feel he's that long past either, guards. Um, so do you understand where he'd, he'd still say he's newly sober? Okay, because he, he doesn't be new now, but he's not long gone. That's the first impression. And this is a wee bit personal. Can I share, am I right to share everything? See, before he had passed over, were the two of you not on great speaking terms? Yeah. Does that make sense? Because he said to me that just had maybe split a wee bit, you know, you just weren't, so, you know, just, that's what I mean, like, it's not, you just were arguing, I didn't mean it in that way, it was a wee bit more serious than that, because the first thing he's just saying, Angela, tell her that I love her, and I'm really, really sorry for all I put her through, and he's saying that you've not had it easy because you felt guilty in the way that he would have passed, and the two of you didn't get the makeup before he passed over, and that's the part that killed you the most, and that's why your partner's so keen to want to come through. So you can see now where I'm going, all right? So does all that relate? Good. And he's saying, um, oh, this is so personal. Uh, am I allowed to say everything? Is that all right? Okay. Okay. Um, was he a wee, was he a wee touch of a womanizer? Yeah. Um, and that's why I'm saying it's very personal. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I don't want to like, it has to be the right story, you see, yeah. and here's the thing, I don't know you, you know, so. But he's sorry for all of that, because he showed me that that was all part of the reason why the two of us broke up. Because obviously, as, you know, as a partner, you didn't want to have all the infidelities, and you were trying to just get him the ways up. But at the same time, he was your heart and soul, and you just loved the bones of him, even though he absolutely you know, got on your last nerve because of what he put you through. And that's what he's saying, he just went, but I am so sorry. And he only sees now the wrongs of the way that he would have mistreated you. And and I have to say, I feel again, he would have got caught up in a wee bit of partying and out and drugs and drink and, but too much, do you know what I mean? And all of that would have led to his infidelities and then the way that he was getting on. And he showed me, but all you did was support him and you were just trying to help him to get back on track again. Yeah. And he says that because you had split with him, you know, priority is passing, um, and you didn't get to say goodbye to him, and he was, oh, he was a bit, you know, if you said that's black, and he, that's white, yeah. you know? And he would have argued blue in the face. You know, he was quite temperamental, very argumentative. Yeah. He was feisty, and it's like he wants to start on you over nothing <laughs> and to create this whole big scene. Drama. And, and as ex you know, exactly a big drama. And sometimes it was only like a small thing that would have escalated very quickly. And then he would have stomped on out of the house. Yeah. And he would have used that as an excuse to, to you know, bring you yeah. on the way <laughs> all night to you for the night. And he showed me and you knew fine right what it was up to. Yeah. And uh, and then that used to do your head in. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect. And he's just saying he's he's getting down. Now I am not gonna do it, but he's he's oh you're in for tonight, girl, because he's getting down on his hand and knees and he says, Please beg for forgiveness. He says, I used to beg her for forgiveness when I did put her through tough times, he says, but I'm doing it now in a way to let you know I realise that I'm really in the wrong. And he says, and I realise how much I love you. He says, but I didn't realise that when I was here. He says, love, I look, my head was cuckoo. He says, you knew that. He says, you knew that wasn't me. Whenever you heard that I had passed over and you got that news, you knew that you knew I loved you, and you knew I loved you. He says, but I didn't get to tell you that. That's exactly what he's trying to communicate. Do you get me? Yeah. He's have a daughter as well. Right. Okay. He's talking about, there's, he's bringing thoughts of one in particular. Is there one of your, and that, I'm sure they've all taken it super hard, it's their dad. But is there one of your daughters in a really hard way? Is it taking this at all good? See, if he's concerned for your daughter, that's what he's given me, but in, not in a good way. Okay. Well, he's definitely making me think one has taken it like um, she's really taken it hard, and he's just yeah. saying, just tell her I love her and I'm with her. That's what he wants to say to her. I feel like she's still in school, but 
So do you understand we should still be in school? Because they feel it's that our school and that and our work is being a wee bit affected. Yeah. And that's that's why it's all sort of interconnected. So that's what he's on about. Alright, if that helps now. And let's see what he's wanting to kiss the face of you. That's what he's wanting to do. And he likes the tattoo you got done for him as well. Yeah. Alright? He likes the tattoo done for him. And did you get a tattoo done in a personal place as well done for him that not many people would see? What's that? No, no. Well, can I just say, you got one done for him, but there must be a tattoo in a very there personal is, yeah. place that, you know, you would have to work close <laughs> for. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I think he likes that one too. All right. Because that, that's one that he would have seen. So he's bringing that up. And and he says that you don't really cross the door very often now. Yeah. And he's saying you need to have a night out, go and have a night out. Because he wants you to have a night out. And, and here's another thing I want to say. He wants you to meet somebody in a good way that will be good for you. And he's okay with that. And, I, and he was... Oh, he was protective of you. He may have been the one up to no good, out with the guards and out with the women, but he was still like, if you had a breathe, he was very paranoid of you being up to no good. Does that make sense? Because he says he would have put you through a tough time in that way as well. And he's saying, no, no, tell her now, go on out and have fun, and if you meet somebody, happy days. Like, he wants that journey still for you to be fulfilled, to do your romance and, and a wee bit of happiness. And I know he'll bring somebody good into your life to try to make up for the wrongs that he's done. So will you remember that ahead of time? Doesn't mean to say over Christmas, all right? But there may be something there ahead of time for you. And he says he could have a couple of fights, by the way. Because he's showing me here. But sometimes his fights would have escalated in a way that there was tools used, like a bottle, a glass, anything, a screwdriver, anything that would have came to hand. I don't know where you would get a screwdriver, but I know there was one. So does that relate okay? Yeah. Good. Because he's saying here that um, I think uh, his nose and that was broke. Do you know what I mean? Because he showed me he has a big bump in it. So I know that he would have had that. Yeah. And, and he's saying that sometimes he would have come in with loads of marks and he would be obviously going, What happened? You know, and he showed me that he would have got beat up by a couple of fellas. And uh, he did his best, like, it happened yeah. to go back and back because he thinks he was a fighter. And, he, and sometimes he created fights just on purpose because he enjoyed that at the end of the night and having a go at people. Yeah. Do you get that? Yeah. But he said sometimes you were with them on nights out previous. So this is going back. <laughs> this is going back. All right. But um, he definitely got in a lot of a lot of arguments and a lot of fights with individuals. So it shows his personality and the way that he was. He's just very strong. Yep. But here he is. But she loved it. <laughs> she loved it. You know, he's, he's putting all this in all, do you know what I mean? Anyways, she loved it. He says she really loves just an advance mom, that's just the way it is, you know? And uh it's flirty like too, yeah. isn't it? Yes. I love <laughs> I love my jeans, Angela. Yeah. He says, you want to see my backside in him? Here he is. I had a cracker backside. Always a wee bit cocky like as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but he says you used to always comment about his backside. Yeah. And you, so you must have always thought, hmm, he's a bit of stuff. So do you get that? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, just keep saying, here he is, you've done me good, Angela. He says, you got her through. I just needed to let her know. He says, she's been waiting on this message. Uh, you've been waiting on it for a couple of years. And he says, but here I am. Here I see, coming in, big ego and all, just the way I was. He says, but I do love you. I do love you and I love the kids. He says, and I put my hands up. He's put, and they're red. And he says, I am. I, he knows he was at fault. And he says, but he is so sorry for all he's put you through. And he says, and he wants your heart to be more settled. And, and he wants to give you a big cuddle and loads of love and give loads of love and cuddles to their children and let them know, let them know Daddy said hello to them so you can pass that on. Remember what it's sure as well. Get out, have fun, let your heart down. You still have to live. And and I'll tell you something, see if the shoes on the our feet. He'd be out living, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But he's living it up for her, but he's doing it in a way that he's trying to help you now. 
So um, thank you so much for working with me. Um, well, I don't think I really expected to hear from anybody. I wasn't uh, I suppose for years that I didn't want to hear from him. Um, I died suddenly, like you said. We had separated just beforehand. Um, oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say. Did you find it helpful? So much. And are you a believer now? I was a believer before, but yeah. even more so now, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay.